Third example for derivatives of polynomial functions. Um, so we got this uh, function here, the square root of 16x cubed plus the third root of x minus three all over the root of x. Um, so that's the function. We have to find the, uh, the derivative. So the first thing you wanna do with, uh, with a question like this, similar to as an example two, uh, you want to simplify the function a bit before taking the derivative. So then we can apply, uh, we can apply the power rule, the constant multiple rule, et cetera, et cetera, more easily. So um, let's, uh, let's start rewriting this. So this square root of 16 x cubed, that's the same as 16 x cubed to the power of one over two. Um, right, because um, anything to the power of one over two is just that thing rooted. Plus, let's change these radicals to, uh, to have uh, rational exponents. So this um, cubed root of x, that's the same as x to the power of one over three, minus three all over the square root of x, we could rewrite as x to the power of one half. <clears throat> So now I'm gonna distribute this uh, exponent inside the bracket. So we'll have 16 to the power of one half, and then this x cubed will be to the power of one half as well. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna split up this numerator into two fractions. So I'll have x to the power of one third over x to the power of one half minus three over x to the power of one half. Okay, so now what's 16 to the power of, uh, of one half? Well, that's just the root of 16, so that's just four. X to the power of three to the power of one half, you just multiply the exponents, so you'll get uh, X to the power of three over two, plus, notice how these are two, um, two expressions divided and they have the same base so that means we can minus the exponents so one over three minus one over two that just ends up being negative one over six right because the one over three is going to be two over six the one over two is going to be three over six so two minus two minus three is negative one and then here what i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to bring the x to the power one half in the denominator to the numerator so it will become three, negative three, x to the power of negative one half because we brought it up, remember that rule? So the rule is, um, as a recap, if I got something like x to the power of negative a, that's the same as one over x to the a, okay? Um, and then here the rule I used was uh, if you are dividing exponents with the same base, well, you could just minus the exponents then. So that's what I did here, this one third, one half, I got uh, negative one over six. And now we simplified this function. We took it from here to here, and now it's a lot easier to take the derivative of it. We could, we could just uh, use the power rule on all of these. So the derivative is going to be, so um, the four we keep separate, and then the derivative of x to the power of three over two, we bring the three over two down and then we minus one from three over two. So we'll end up with one over two in the exponent. Three over two minus two over two is uh, one over two. And then here, the, uh, the derivative of this expression, we bring the negative one over six down, so we'll have negative one over six x, and then negative one over six minus one is the same as negative one minus six over six, so it'll be negative seven over six minus uh, three, let's keep the three out, and then the derivative of x to the negative one half, we bring the negative one half down, x to the power of negative one half minus one is the same as negative one half minus two over two, which is negative three over two. Okay, so uh, be careful with your, uh, with your fractions whenever uh, you're taking the derivative of uh, rational exponents. Um, 
make sure you don't slip up with the common denominators and all that. Um, okay, so let's continue this here. So now we can multiply this three over two and this four. So four times three, so this is like four over one. So we just multiply the numerator and the denominator. So four times three, <coughs> four times three is 12. And the denominator will be uh, one times two. <coughs> So uh, 12 over 2 is just 6, and we'll keep, uh, we'll keep the uh, x to the power of 1 half the same. <clears throat> this plus negative here we could just turn into a negative, and then we'll just have 1 over 6. Let's keep the uh, x value the same, so it'll be negative 7 over 6. <clears throat> and then negative 3 times negative 1 half. Uh, that's like negative 3 over 1 times negative 1 over 2, so multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, we get positive 3 over 2, um, x to the negative 3 over 2. Okay, so um, to simplify it more, let's not leave any uh, positive uh, exponents and let's change any positive rational exponents to radical form. So first off this, it's already as a positive exponent so we just keep it there but x to the power of one half is the same as square root of x minus one over six will bring this exponent down because it has a negative uh, exponent so that will just become positive seven over six plus 3 over 2, this exponent will come down and it will just be x to the power of 3 over 2, positive. And then let's change these two expressions into uh, radical form. So we'll get 6 root x minus 1 over 6, the, um, the x to the power of 7 over 6, that's the same as the 6th root of x to the 7. All right, plus three over two, x to the power of three over two, that's like the square root of x cubed. So this is our final answer. Uh, so this is the derivative of this function here. So the first thing you wanna do as a recap, take the function, um, simplify it a bit, put it, in, um, put it in exponent form, bring all the exponents up, and then just when you take the derivative, use the power rule, and then uh, switch it back to radical form, and, um, and yeah, that's it.